Hey y'all and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is going to be a whole house clean with me and I'm hoping that it gives you some extreme cleaning motivation because my house was a complete disaster and was in desperate need of a major cleaning. So I'm hoping that you guys will put this video up and clean along with me and definitely let me know what you guys get done while you're cleaning today because this one should be a little bit longer cleaning video because I did so much. So hopefully you'll get a lot done while you're watching. I also wanted to let you guys know that in case you're interested or looking for a new mop, I'm going to be sharing my new mop that I got and um, it is not sponsored. This video is not sponsored by them at all. I actually was talking about the mop on Instagram a few months ago or maybe it was last month. I don't remember, but I was talking about it on Instagram and asked for your suggestions if any of you had the mop and whether you loved it or not. And I ended up getting over a hundred messages within the first few hours of even posting about it. and. The majority, pretty much I feel like every single person that messaged me, except for maybe one, said that how much they loved it and that it was such a good mop. So I ended up getting it and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it later on in the video. For cleaning today, we are actually starting in the master bedroom and I'm just taking off the sheets and pillow covers because they needed to be washed. And then I'm going to actually use a separate set of sheets to put on the bed because we have two extra sets for our bed and then we have one extra set for each of the kids' beds. So that way I can take my time washing the sheets and I don't feel like I have to have it all done in one day. Another thing that needed to be cleaned today were the, all the towels and then the bathroom rugs. So I went around the house, picked those up, and then I went ahead and started the rugs in the washing machine because I wanted them to be washed and dried by the time I was finished cleaning today. And I'm just washing them with the Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle Scent um, laundry detergent and then I'm also using some Clorox bleach. Next I went ahead and put our sheets on the bed and when I was going through our sheets I pulled out the other pillowcases and most of our pillowcases are white. So when I was going through them, I realized that some of them look really dingy and old and probably need to be replaced. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and after my rugs got done, my bathroom rugs in the laundry, then I was going to go ahead and start washing our other sheet set so I could use those pillowcases just because they looked a lot nicer. And now I need to go get some new white pillowcases. So I'll actually end up finishing making the bed later on in the day when all of the um, sheets and pillowcases are done washing in the washing machine. And now I'm moving on to dusting all the furniture in my room and I actually got this cleaning caddy from Walmart several years ago. I always get asked about it but I have noticed that they have it in Walmart recently. It may be a little bit different, but it's the same size. And yeah, they have it at Walmart, it's super cheap, and it works perfectly for when you're cleaning your house. But I just used the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Spray to wipe down the furniture, and then I'm using blue surgical cloths. These actually came from my husband's work, and I get questioned about this all the time, but you guys are gonna see later on in the video that I use a ton of cloths when I'm cleaning throughout the day. I'm not using the same blue cloth the entire time I'm cleaning, and sorry if you guys hear me say this a billion times, but people are always asking me this, and I don't show you guys all the time when I'm switching out the cloths just know that I'm using a ton throughout the day So while I was watching this part back and editing, I, it reminded me of my spring house tour and I wanted to tell you guys that if you missed that one, I will link it here in the cards and also in the description box, you can find the link to it down there. But in case you missed it and you wanna go back and see how I decorated my house for spring and all of the like details, then definitely go check that out.
And now I'm moving on to the master bathroom and I decided that I was going to go ahead and wash every single towel in the house today, like all the ones that have been used. So I took the hand towels and threw them on the floor to take to the laundry room and then also Chance is home today so you might see him, see him pop in and out of the videos. But for my bathrooms, I always use tons of Method products. No surprise there, but I use the Method Glass and Surface Cleaner on any windows and mirrors in our house. And then I use the Daily Granite Cleaner on the granite countertops and then also the Method Anti-Back inside of our sinks. Another item that I like to carry around in my um, caddy is this magic eraser and I actually get the magic erasers but I'll get the off brand from the Dollar Tree too because they seem to work fine as well. But I like to use these around the house so that way when I see little spots on the wall I can just clean them up really quick. And I do notice, um, I don't know if y'all see, let me know if you saw this but it looks like my mirror is very streaky and I did not do a very good job cleaning it. But Oh well, I guess you can see better from this angle than the angle I was at. Hey. Oh. Yeah. If we only could talk just a little Find a place where the past is forgiven You moved on, I am stuck in the middle Tried to run, but there's nowhere to go. Even in my sleep, I'm calling out your name. But I never wanted things to be this way, this way. I'm trying to give up my eyes. I don't have it, I want you back. No matter what I say, still you know. Now moving on to the toilet, I'm using the Method Anti-Back Toilet Bowl Cleaner inside of our toilet and then on the outside I'm using the 7th generation wipes and these are the disinfecting wipes. I don't love the way they smell and I'm so excited for when I can actually run out of these things. I ordered a ton at one time and I wish I wouldn't have done that honestly before I tried it because I do not like the smell. But I've heard lots of people really love the Method wipes and they have like grapefruit I think and different scents that are actually a whole lot better. But I also had a question for you guys. I have some stains on the ring of the toilet and I would love to know if you guys have any ideas on how I can get those stains out, what products you use in order to do that. So let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below. To forget you And no words could explain how I miss you Girl, I do So today was a tub cleaning day so whenever I clean my tub I also like to vacuum back behind it just because I feel like when I step into the tub with my socks on I'm getting the tub dirty so it's the perfect day to actually clean back behind is the day that I'm cleaning the tub out too. So I'm going to be using the Method Anti-Back to clean out the inside of our tub today. And I would love to know what you guys use to clean your tub or your shower because I'm really not crazy about the Method shower cleaner anymore. I just don't like the way it smells, so I'm actually looking for something new to try. Baby, I miss you. I miss you. <coughs> uh, hey, Andrew. Oh! That would be a good uh, bonus feature. Yeah. Whatever you call it. What's it called? Bathroom, yeah. Outtakes. Outtakes, that's right. And then I had to clean off the wall and the floor and everything else in the bathroom because I ended up spraying water all over the bathroom 
And I had to keep this in there just because I feel like everybody needs a laugh and I'm laughing at myself because that was so dumb of me. So my socks ended up getting soaking wet so I changed those out and I don't know why I even did that because now I'm about to mop and clean the inside of the shower out so I probably should have just gone sockless, I don't know. Now we're moving on to the shower and I took everything out of the shower and then I ended up using the same cleaner that I'm going to use on the bathroom floors. So I took my spin mop which is my new mop that I was telling you guys about earlier and I'll tell you more about it in a minute. But what I did was I took the Lysol disinfecting cleaner that um, you mix with water and I put really really hot water into my mop bucket and this Lysol disinfecting cleaner and then I just use that to wash, wash down the inside of my shower because this is what I always use anyways. And then I use the mop to mop the floors afterwards. So one of my favorite parts about this spin mop is that you can buy multiple mop heads and then just change them out whenever you need to. So for instance, I am using one mop head for washing our floors in the bathroom and then I'm going to take it off and use a separate mop head for the wood floors in the rest of the house. And I like to do this just because I don't want to think about the germs from the bathroom spreading to the rest of the house but also because I'm gonna be using a different floor cleaner on my wood floors. And then the mop heads are also washable, so you just take them, throw them in the washing machine, and dry them, and they're good to go for the next time you're ready to mop. Also with this mop, you can spin the mop, so it's actually kind of like wringing the water out, so the more you spin it, the less wet it's gonna be which is great because I always want my floors to be a little bit more wet in the bathrooms than on my wood floors because you don't want to use like sopping wet mop on your wood floors. But here I'm going to show you how I spin it and the more times you spin it, the more water that comes out of your mop. But I used to complain all the time about how much my back would hurt after mopping and that's because I was using the Bona Mop and I still use the Bona Mop for like spot cleaning but this mop makes it so much easier on my back when I'm trying to do a ton of floors at one time. So I'll definitely be using this mop from now on when I'm doing a ton of cleaning. And now moving on to the guest bathroom and I'm going to do all the same things in here. I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one. So if you guys are on Instagram, I would love to get to know you guys better over there as well. My Instagram handle is amy.darley and I share lots of things about my family, some behind the scenes things and day-to-day -day life in my Instagram stories. And I just feel like sometimes I get to know you guys so much better because I can look at your pictures and kind of your profiles and things like that as you're talking to me in the comments and in DMs and all of that. So if you are on Instagram, then definitely let me know and come hang out with me so I can get to know you guys better. Baby with her. Now we're moving on to the breakfast area in the kitchen and I'm just going to kind of pick up. This is kind of like our homework slash Bible station. We keep all of that kind of stuff here just because we do, our, do all of our devotional time sitting here at the table 
and um, as well as homework in the afternoons. But I'm just going to clean down the table with the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray and I'm using the Honeysuckle scent here. But like I said or showed you guys at the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you guys my Grove haul in just a few minutes. So I'm so excited about my new spring scents that came in and my house is going to be smelling so awesome since they came in and I can't wait to share it with you. But as always, I am going to have to get all this clutter put up before I can actually start cleaning, cleaning here in the kitchen. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all of our papers, all of our baseball stuff, all that good stuff where it actually should go. And then I'll start cleaning the kitchen. So I've gotten asked pretty often how we keep the paper clutter down in the house and to do a video on that. And maybe I will do a video soon. But we also, I wanted to let y'all know that we keep this tub right outside of our door. It's right in our garage when you walk out. And this is where we put any papers that can be um, recycled or boxes, things like that. And then once that bin gets full, then we'll go put it in our big recycling bin. And we have our trash service. They have recycling. They come and pick it up every two weeks. Now that the clutter is all put up, I'm going to go ahead and load up the dishwasher and then put the dishes that were clean on the counter. I'm going to put those away and then wash any dishes from breakfast that need to be washed by hand. Now since my spring scents came in, I decided to go ahead and switch out my honeysuckle scent for the peony here in the kitchen and I'm so excited about using this for spring. But y'all let me know, did you guys get any of the spring scents this year too? And if you, if you did, what are your favorites? Now I'm just going to wipe down my counters and I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner on my countertops here and you guys, if you have not tried this and you have granite countertops, you have to get it. It's so awesome. It smells really good. It's just one of my favorite cleaning products ever. And I don't always do this in the mornings just because I do this several times during the week in the evenings, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my countertops because I am doing a whole house clean with me and I want the entire house to be cleaned up. So I went ahead and dried off all of those dishes that I just cleaned so that I can clean off the countertops and I'm using the Method Wood for Good Cleaner. This is another one of my favorite cleaners. And it's in the almond scent. It smells really, really good. And it always leaves my wood tops just really shiny. Now I am heading into the living room and I'm just going to put our pillows back on the couch the way that they're supposed to be, put all these clothes up, and I'm going to actually vacuum my couch and my pillows just because we have our dog Cooper and he is a chocolate lab and he sheds like crazy so of course we have hair everywhere all the time. So I definitely needed to do a little bit of vacuuming and so I'm just using my Dyson V7 and it works perfectly.
And here in my laundry basket, I just have a few of the kids' throw blankets that need to be put back in their rooms and then some towels that need to be put up. But speaking of laundry, if you guys missed my laundry routine video that I did about a month and a half ago, I'm going to link it right here in the cards and also in the description box because I've had so many of you tell me how much you love this routine. And honestly, it has been such a game changer for me and I wish that I had been doing laundry like this my whole life. So definitely check that out if you are looking for a new routine to keep you on top of your laundry. All right, so it is 11.15 and I'm taking a little break. I think me and Chance are about to go get some lunch and then come back. Um, I still have a lot to do, so this is gonna be an all day clean with me, it looks like. <laughs> All right, so we just got back home, so I wanted to share with you guys all of my Grove Collaborative products that I just got in, so do a little Grove Collaborative haul with you until, um, so that way I can go put this stuff up. But, um, so, as you guys know, I've been so excited about getting my new spring scents, and so I've got Peony here and the Mint. Those are my two favorites. There's also Lavender and um, they only have these for the spring so if you're wanting these then definitely stock up i know that i saw target had some when they first came out but every time i've been to target since they've been all sold out so i made sure to stock up at grove collaborative when i did my order but um, i also wanted to let you guys know that if you are thinking about trying grove collaborative they do have a promotion right now where you can get the mrs myers gift set for free with your first order and it also comes with the bubble up dish brush and they have this super cute print for spring and then a set of walnut scrubber sponges and there's no pressure i'm just sharing this with you guys in case you want to take advantage of that um, promotion and if you do i have a link in my description box and you can just use that link to go get a free set all right, and I made sure to stock up on these. So you guys saw earlier, I do have the peony over on the sink. So I have the dish soap and the hand soap over on the sink in the kitchen. And then I put another set of hand soap in my bathroom for this. And then I also stocked up even more. So here's another thing of the dish soap and hand soap in the peony. And then another thing of dish soap and mint. So I made sure to get plenty, so I'll, that'll last me for a while. And then I got another thing of honeysuckle, Mrs. Meyers um, laundry detergent. And then I got this. It's a baking soda cream cleaner, and this works perfect for cleaning out your sink. So I do this every few days. The Method Steel For Real, this is what I use on my stainless steel appliances the method heavy duty greaser and i actually got this about a month ago i got one of these and i started using it then on my stove top and i love the way it works and then the last thing i got from grove collaborative collaborative was my method glass and surface cleaner because i am about out of that and then this isn't from grove collaborative but it's sitting here so i'll share it with you guys anyways this is what we use for the kids we get the Suave 3-in-1 um, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So I need to go put that up. And now that I've shown you guys my Grove Collaborative haul, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my cleaning products up. These are all going in the laundry room. I have a couple of cabinets that I keep most of my cleaning supplies in. And if you guys missed that video where I did my laundry room, like makeover, I did declutter and everything, then I'll link it here in the cards. But... Y'all let me know if you guys have any favorite products that you like to order for cleaning, whether it's from Grove Collaborative or Walmart or whatever it is. I would love to know some products that you just cannot live without. Okay, so now I have moved back into the master bedroom and I probably should have done this earlier in the day when I was already cleaning in here. 
but I wanted to go ahead and dust all of our shutters and clean our windows and everything in here because uh, later on in the week I would planned on doing the rest of the downstairs. So I do try to break this up a little bit just because we have so many shutters, so many windows in our house and it would take forever if I tried to do them all at once. And I don't know if you noticed that creepy guy in the background <laughs> at our pond. That's just chance. He's not really creepy, but that's my husband. He's out there fishing and I think I get a close up of him in a minute. But to do the dusting on my shutters, I'm just using a microfiber cloth and I do spray a little bit of the multi-surface spray on here sometimes, but today I didn't do anything. I didn't use any products. I just literally wiped them all down with the microfiber cloth. And then I will use the Method Glass and Surface Cleaner to wipe down our windows and I have a microfiber cloth for that as well. All right, now that everything has dried off in the shower and the floors are dry here in the bathroom, I'm putting everything back into the shower and then my rugs are actually cleaned and dried at this point too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those down and then I will be done here in this bathroom. Now we are moving upstairs and I just have a bunch of things on the stairs that I need to take up. So I'm taking those up now and then we are going to start cleaning the kids' bedrooms, the bathroom upstairs, and then when the kids get home, they're actually going to be cleaning that playroom. Just so y'all know, I did end up dusting the top shelf, but I'm gonna cut the clip because right here, obviously you can see, I did not change the angle of my camera. Now we're moving on to Gracie June's room and as you can see in this clip, her room was a disaster. She had toys everywhere and usually they don't bring their toys in their bedrooms. They try to, I try to make them keep them in the playroom, but she had had friends over and they brought a lot of them out and were playing school and had all the books out and all of this. So obviously I had a big mess to clean up. So a lot of times I get questions about this quilt that's on Gracie June's bed and since it's been a while since I've shared a cleaning video with her room in it then um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about it so I don't get questions but I, do, I did get the quilt from Target a few years ago and they don't have the exact same one but they always have very similar like styles to this one and they're all really cute so definitely check out Target if you're looking for a quilt that is similar to this one. 
And while I'm cleaning Gracie June's bedroom, I'm just using a little basket, just a laundry basket, to pick up all the toys and get them all into one little spot so that way I can take them into the playroom and they can put them up later when they get home. So as you can tell, we have a ton of books. I was a teacher, so books are just a love of mine, and I actually need to go through Gracie June's books that are in her room because she still has a lot that are like from when she was a baby. She has a lot that are on her level, but she also has a lot of old ones that I need to go through and get rid of and give to my nephew. And then I also have a huge tub of books that's still in our attic from when I was teaching, and I need to pull those out so the kids can read those as well. But I'm saying this about books because if you guys have any suggestions for second grade, third grade boys, Kason's um, reading on like a fourth or fifth grade reading level, and I'm really looking for some chapter books that he would be interested in that are fun and engaging because we are having a hard time finding anything that's like appropriate for him to read on his level. So y'all let me know if you have any suggestions for books that we should purchase. And here I was kind of sick of the clutter on the dresser so I took a few of the picture frames off the shelf and I'm thinking about putting some on the wall but I need to use the command strips that's just what we use to hang our pictures so until then I'm gonna put these other ones into her closet and then we'll get them hung up later so whenever I'm cleaning the kids rooms in my videos I always get questions about these three jars and they are our spin tithe and save jars and the kids save 10% they tithe 10% and then they get to spend the rest on whatever they want so we'll take them to the Dollar Tree or Walmart and they get to spend their money and a lot of times they'll want to buy ice cream at school um, or they even have a little school store that they can buy things like pencil erasers and things like that so that's what they spend their money on and then the kids get excited about tithing their 10% to the church because they get to do this during worship time in their kids ministry and then all the money that goes for tithing in the kids ministry is actually used to build new wells in Zimbabwe for them to have clean water to drink which I think is so neat that they do that but while I'm on the topic of kids earning money I would love to know how your kids earn money do they do chores like if you have a specific system I would love for you to share it with me because we're looking for ways to make it more consistent in our household for them to actually earn the money and once we have something figured out figured out that actually works and is easy to keep up with I would love to share it on here but if you guys have any tips or tricks for that definitely let me know in the comments and I forgot to talk about the save jar so the save jar they save 10% and right now they pretty much just save up for anything that they are wanting to buy but usually it's a bigger ticket item so right now Kaysen says he's saving up for a new computer because his is cracked and um, he hasn't been able to use it in a long time because you can't see what you're typing into the search bar um, but we'll see if he's able to save up. Maybe if he's able to save up to a certain amount by his birthday, we can cover the rest of the cost, but we'll see how that works out. But yeah, so they're just saving up for bigger ticket items with that save jar. All right, so I'm about to go get the kids and they are gonna clean this mess up. So I gave them a little favor by cleaning their rooms, but look at this disaster. This is what happens when all the neighborhood kids come over. <laughs> we build forts and throw toys everywhere, apparently. I'm about to go get the kids, but I wanted to show you guys all of the rags that I used. Now, this was just a face rag, but these are all the rags that I used to clean, plus I went through two pair of socks, and then I need to wash these. These were some of our hand towels. That's some trash. All right, so now that I'm back from getting the kids, I went ahead and made up our bed because now our pillowcases were clean and I could do that. 
but like I said earlier, I'm going to be purchasing some new pillowcases so that way I have extra so that I don't have to constantly worry about washing and then putting them on in the same day. It's just so much easier to be able to like take the sheets off the bed, put the new sheets on, make the bed right away, and then wash the other sheets whenever it's convenient. And I've actually talked about this before, but I am going to get some new throw pillows just because I feel like I don't have enough on my bed or some bigger ones that just look better. But I can't purchase everything at once, so I'll definitely be on the lookout for those for good prices. So if you ever see any that you think would be a good price that would look good on the bed, then definitely send them my way because I love getting your suggestions and your feedback. Okay, I think we're in the home stretch now. So I'm moving on to vacuuming. And so what I'm going to do is vacuum the entire downstairs and then I'm going to mop and then I'll go back upstairs and vacuum the upstairs just because um, I want to get the whole downstairs done first before I go back upstairs and start working back up there. But I always get questions about my vacuum too and I absolutely love this thing. It's the Dyson V7. I know they have newer models and I'm sure the newer models are amazing. Um, I purchased my Dyson about a year ago, a little over a year ago, and when I purchased the V7, they had just come out with the V8, so that's why I got the V7 was because it was on a major sale just because they had a new version out, and I love this thing. It, I have no idea what the newer versions are like, but if you're wanting to get a Dyson and you're just worried about the price, then definitely look into getting some of the older models. I'm sure the newer models are way better, but this one is amazing and I love the way it works. It does last the entire time I vacuum my house. I do it on a normal mode, but whenever I'm spot cleaning, I'll put it on the max mode and that only lasts about seven minutes, but you can vacuum on regular mode for about 30 minutes before it goes dead. But I do always have a link to this vacuum and some of my other favorite products in my description box below the video, as well as some of my Amazon favorites. And anything that's in my Amazon favorites are all things that I have purchased for my house that I get questioned about a lot or books that I've read, things like that. Everything that I've actually had experience with that I've loved that I've gotten off of Amazon is in my Amazon favorites. So you can find those links down in the description box in case you want to check those out. I wanna know. All right, and now I'm breaking out the spin mop again, and I'm gonna mop all the wood floors downstairs, and I just ended up using a little bit of the Bona floor cleaner mixed in with some really hot water. That's just what I had on hand, but I would love to know what you guys use to clean your wood floors. Some of you have told me on Instagram that you use Pine Sol, and then some of you have said you use the Method Squirt, I think it's the squirting kind, um, for for your floors and I would love to know what works best for you especially if you use up uh, I didn't know that she fell oh no <laughs> okay so anyways I'm sorry I feel like this is so random but I'm probably just gonna leave this in because that was real life <laughs> but anyways um, let me know what you use on your wood floors with if you have an O-Cedar like spin mop or if you have any kind of regular mop and not like a bona floor spray mop something like that okay I really didn't mean to laugh at Gracie June falling but it was kind of funny and 
that's what happens when your kids walk in and you're mopping, right? But I realized when I was editing this that I um, missed out on filming half of the mopping downstairs and I'm so sad because I just was pushing the wrong button apparently and all of it didn't film. So I did end up getting the entire downstairs mopped but it's not all filmed and I'm sorry for that. myself this time Now we're moving back upstairs and I'm just going to quickly vacuum the rooms up here and then I'll show you guys how the kids cleaned the playroom and how much better it looks and then the entire house will be clean and it's just such a great feeling to have it all done at one time. So as you can see, the kids somewhat cleaned up the playroom. They did get all the mess off the floor and they put things in baskets and everything. But I'm in desperate need of going back through this playroom again and getting rid of a bunch of stuff because we have so many little things that just need to be thrown away. They are like lost from games or just random pieces of, I don't know, itty bitty little things. And then... We have our Bible study group. You guys hear me talk about this all the time, but we have them come over on Sunday nights. And so we try to keep lots of toys for the kids to play with, but it's just becoming chaotic. So I just need to organize it and make it a little bit better. So maybe I'll do a video to get myself motivated. All right, this is seriously right after I got done. Look at what she's doing. Gracie Jan, y'all just cleaned this up and you're already pulling them all out. I'm making a show. Oh, you're doing a show? And they're all gonna watch? Yeah. All right, as long as you clean it back up, right? I will. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. 